BFG. That's me. I know BFG stands for Big Friendly Giant, but I'm Big Fat Giant. <laughs> yeah, last... This has been a strange ten days. Uh, in a week's time. I have people coming up to me and talking to me as if they feel compelled to talk to me. Maybe I just look so friendly and honest and open that they can just and they have to talk they feel that I, they can talk to me which is fine that's that is fine I don't mind that at all I'd rather have that than for the people to feel compelled to throw stones at me I just have been feeling just so left out of it I don't have a smartphone my car is falling apart I can't afford to repair things there's things around here I can't afford to repair they're electrical things, and I don't deal with electrical things because it's extremely dangerous. If my dad were alive, he could help because he was an electronic engineer, and he knew all about electronics and stuff. There's two ceiling fans that don't work. It must be the wiring in the attic. I don't know. Kitchen light over the sink doesn't work. It shorts out all the time. I know that's not good and could result in something bad eventually. Which is like a little tiny sword of Damocles over me. You sit and worry about it falling on you. You start worrying about other things happening and you won't be able to deal with them. I try not to do that, but it's still it's still in the back of my mind and I have plenty of things in my mind going round and round and they move aside and let other things inside to, to go round and round and uh, I just I start losing interest in stuff I know these are signs of depression I cry a lot anything will set me off anything that has to do with family or programs where people are loving each other or saying I love you it, it just starts the waterworks and I went to see Ab Fab the movie, and I really enjoyed it. And all the music's good, and I liked the song that en that ended the credits, but it's also a song that played when my son and his now wife first met each other. And it made me think of them. I miss my kids, all of them. Well, I have two sons, but a, a daughter-in-law, and... My other son's girlfriend. I consider everybody my family. I just hope and pray that I haven't messed them up like my mom messed me up. If I get to speak on Thursday, if I get there early, maybe they'll let me speak. And I can talk about this, maybe. I don't know. Everybody's got their own issues and... They do the same things over and over. I think that's human nature. That's the reason we have wars still. That's the reason our government's messed up still. Because people don't learn or they just figure they can't change it. <sighs> this week's the Democratic National Democratic Convention thing in Philadelphia. I'm not even watching it. I am so sick and tired of politics. And next Tuesday is election day for state government and treasurer and all that crap which I'll be working from 5 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. Not looking forward to it. I, my sleep and wake cycle is so friggin' messed up now. There are times when I don't, I don't sleep all night. Not a, not a wink and I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and... But then I, I don't think clearly. Like when I went with my brother to the insurance guy, he, my brother starts asking me all these questions. Well, should I do this or should I do that? And I said, uh, my brain is not working today. I'm here to be your ears only. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I don't want to rely on medicines. I don't want to take medicines. I don't think that's healthy. 
I think you need to get to the root of a problem. Maybe my chemical balance is off. Maybe I just have a lot of well, emotional crap that I either have to get through or I'll never get through. I don't know. I don't want it to turn into fears because there's too much fear mongering going around and I despise that. I despise government does it, bosses do it, you know, people put these fears in your head of your worst nightmares if you don't comply. I mean, it's really effed up. Uh, maybe I need a really good cry, one that makes my throat hurt and makes the neighbors wonder if there's an alarm going off. <laughs> I still have a sense of humor and I still have my hair. So I'm not totally insane. Yet. I'm sorry. I just had to vent. Um, most of the time, music, really good music, people that are good at what they do, I enjoy watching people that are good at what they do. And I watched a, a video of some guy starting to dance to, uh, as he was walking down the street, a Greek little Greek band was playing and he starts dancing and everyone else started joining in. Pretty soon the whole street was full of people and I just started bawling. I just don't feel like I fit in anywhere. I stopped writing my musical because my older son said, what's the point? He says, you're aiming too high. We start by writing a play, not a musical. That wasn't the point of my doing it in the beginning. You know, maybe I'll just stop. Seven minutes. I'll stop now.